Whatever. All right, hey, right now we're watching that shot clip using the frag grenades up in pink two, trying to clear off two players who were top middle and all four dead for the influence and three were dead for Carbon. So there was a little bit of a massacre going on. Walshy wins the battle. He's got the, the oddball right now up in pink two, but Batman is pushing in. And Batman, he's really one of those underrated players in the league. I really loved watching him on the pit earlier in the season. I actually called it the Bat Cave up on the Snipe Tower because <laughs> he was just going to work. But talk to me a little bit about these lesser known players from the influence, Scott. You know, Batman, most of these unknown players just don't get enough recognition because they don't get on main stage a lot. I mean, Batman is a very talented player. I mean, quote unquote, he's the best sorter in the game, but he's afraid to get it right now. But they all are well tuned. It's just they don't do anything flashy. They're not a nated. They're not a neighbor. They're not a hysteria. It's just little things like that that people don't look at. But when you're watching him play right now, it's smooth and it's good, and he's doing the right thing for his team. Solid long range BR putting shots on two players. Now Shockwave charging him up in pink, too. Here's the battle, and Shockwave oh. catches him with the beatdown. And that is going to open up an opportunity here for Walshy to go up against Ant, but Ant is going to win that battle, picking up the double kill. He's finally taken down, and now we have a sword kill, and a stick, and a triple kill. Need to go into work, and I miss it. I apologize to you guys back at home. <laughs> he wanted the overkill so bad. He there. wanted the insta explode, which is the new thing. What you're seeing from Carbon here a lot when you go to the screen, it's not by accident. They throw the first plasma grenade, and as soon as it gets ready to blow up, you throw the other one, and it shoots in the direction of the other of the person you're trying to kill. And by doing that, it gives you a guaranteed kill. A little insta explode strat. Huh? Yep. And Nated continuing to gather some medals here, picks up another double kill. Here's the call out and traverses to the opposite side of the map. I've never seen a person move from one side of the map to the other that quickly. He is just happy. And the funny thing is, is I was talking to Coach Tom, and he said, you know, I don't really do that much, but they pretty much just pay me to come here and put Nate in a good mood. Because as long as he's in a good mood, they're going to do well. And yeah, there's no one better to do it than Coach Tom. Love hanging out with that guy. Carbon just enjoying themselves here. They're sitting on top of a 158 to 85 point lead. But you got to give credit to the influence. Talent has done a nice job in the last 30 seconds of keeping the oddball away from the Carbon spawns here. Yeah, and you know, little things like that are going to add up in this game. Carbon, if they feel comfortable, they could come back to bite them. And it looked like Carbon was actually kind of like stat pouring a little bit there. They were just going after kills and kills. And now when you look at the score, you just see as the influence just broke 100, it's a game again. And that is going to be three down for the influence. Carbon trying to use their takeover strategy. As Shockwave now is in control of the oddball. We're sitting on board with Twilight right now. He has two players above him. And now his teammates are going to come in and clear him out. And Twilight just going to get pinched there as Walshy is going to use the bait and switch. We're going to jump on board with Nated. He's fighting off Talent who's sitting top Carbon. And now something interesting to bring up here, Scott, is Shockwave's holding on to the oddball, but he also has the sword in his back pocket. Well, he did until Nate had destroyed him. <laughs> <laughs> and he shoots the body down for a little fun there. But how important is that for the oddball to have the sword in the back pocket? I hear there's a, there's a glitch you can do where it's a one-hit kill. With the, with the objectives. Oh, well, I did not know about the glitch, but yeah, that makes it, it makes sense to give the ball guy the sword because instead of having to drop the ball and try to force out the guy, you drop the ball and he's right in front of you and you just sword him, so it's a guaranteed kill. Got it, and while she's going to work over on Pink's side, we're just gonna jump on board with him and really Carbon has been controlling the Pink Tower all game long. Yeah, and you know, I'm not a fan of Pink 3 in this game because if you're playing a good team, you're going to get knocked off of that very well, but Carbon's showing how to execute it. As soon as you get shot, you drop to the other side, and then you drop down and go into Pink 2 and then put shots from there. Three members of Carbon dead. Walshy coming off the respawn. He's all by himself. Shockwave now with him in the Pink Tower. Shot goes high. Twilight's up there, and Walshy's just going to duck out for a second. He wants more. And Batman is going to take him down. And Batman accidentally hit the middle button on his screen. And he took quite a bit of fire somehow staying alive here top carbine. 
and he was just happy. And, and you know, it's it's 50 second difference here between the two teams. The influence keeping it close. Every time that Carbon tries to pull away, they're able to retake the oddball and pick up a good 20 second, 30 second chunk here. But Carbon once again has that ball after Walsh he picked up the big double kill, and he's locking things down over on the red side of the map. Take one, 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 take one ninety to one forty five and counting. Batman putting down the ball to pick up the kill on Shockwave. He's got the sword waiting in front of him too, but he's not going for it. And he's gonna call out the player pink three, trying to distract him with the ball. Finally puts it down as Twilight picks up the kill. Check out the score here. The influence coming right back into this one. It's coming down to the wire, and the influence needs this game to stay alive in the series versus Carbon here in winner's bracket round one. Oh, Batman. Batman's in a bad position right now. You got five members of Carbon looking at you pretty much. <laughs> and all four members of the influence go down while she's got the ball once again. And Nadid is providing plenty of cover fire over here from the Carbine side. And what I missed about Midship or Heretic here are the long range battle rifle battles. Who do you think here has the best long range VR? Is there a player in the top eight that is better than the rest? Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Defy has one of the better long range VRs. Watching him on CTF Onslaught from A to B is just incredible. He, it's just so precise. So I'm going to have to say Defy has the upper hand in the long range battle rifles. And Shockwave is going to be taken down. Batman using that sword. You said he was the best to game with the, the sword. Slice and dicer. The Slice and Dicer. And Talon is going to grab this ball. 30 seconds left in the game. Influence can win this. They need to get to the ball soon. Twilight, 20 seconds left in counting. If they can hold it for the rest of this time, they will win game three. 15, 14, but you, but six you. seconds away. And Sundance is screaming like a girl in my ear. And there we go. Oh, the influence is going to retake it. They drop the ball, but Nate catches it. And it's time. Oh. We're doing it again. <laughs> Two events in a row in oddball game ties. The influence coming up clutch in the last seconds. And Nate saving the game for Carbon. We're playing it again. Oh. And taking a look at the stats here, even though they don't matter, Walshy going off, putting up 31 kills. Batman had a great game as well with plus seven. Wow. This is going to be another exciting 15 minutes. You know what that means. All right, we got game number 3A coming up right after this. Carbon 2, the influence zero. They just tied their last one. Let's see what happens when we do it all again. <laughs> 